My name is Josh Cohn. Uh, we're looking at our new version, V4 Smart Use. And uh, what we're doing here now is showing our new interface. Uh, still have the hyperlinking capabilities here. One of the things that you'll see when we take plans, we pull up our plans here, is we can connect and crawl through different devices such as Box and Dropbox, uh, SharePoint, working with talking to Ignite here and many others that we're looking at bringing on board. So whether you use our cloud storage or your own personal storage where you may have already housed many devices, one of the things that you'll see here is that we have our character recognition that's happening, creating all these automatic hyperlinks. And as I'm clicking on these, moving these around here, one of the things you'll see is it pops those right up as we're clicking on those. So it's very intuitive. Uh, you're able to come back in here, zoom into each of the links. Uh, this works with scan documents and, and vector-based documents, so it doesn't have to just be vector-based documents. We can come in around here at work very smoothly, very clean interface here. Uh, you will see now we've taken a number of tools so that when we're out here looking at plans, if I want to navigate to this plan, for example, as I bring that up, we've enrich the, the tech the information that we're capturing here so with all of these simple tools that we're using if I take a pencil right now uh, any of these simple devices as I come down here and click on this if I want to grab a straight line a curved line we can choose the color it's very simple and straightforward and as I want to just come back in here right now and draw setting that information up if I hit done, this now allows me to capture from something as simple as lines all this metadata. I can link documents to this simple line drawing that I've created with using my fingers. Again, this will work with both touch screen and non-touch devices. So if you're using a mouse, a keyboard, no problem there. And you'll see here one of the things that we can do is as we're taking these plans, I can go back through, look for shop drawings, some middles, ASIs, whatever I want to pick up and use here, and I can now link that to that just the text we created there. I can take pictures, snapshots, associate with this, I can go back in, I can start to grab more text, and create text, embed information in here that has audio files. I can push this to individuals. So if I want to communicate this with one person, I can now assign that to that individual. And then when it comes to additional information, here's where I'm going to get into this. I'm going to actually be able to see who I want to assign this to. Is it public? Is it internal? So we can keep that with an internal group. Or I can even go back in here and create layers. Under my layers, set this up as a private layer. So if, if I'm looking at this and I want to set this up as here, Damon. So we'll go ahead and Damon's only going to keep his information. And when we set this up here, I'll grab this and this is going to be private. So you'll see here again, public, internal, private. Mm -hmm. And now when we come back to these properties here, as we're looking at this, this is where I can come back in and choose, let's keep this private for Damon at this time. Mm -hmm. We can assign this as a punch list item. We can go through here and we can start to set up as far as, is it acoustical, is it caulking? And we can assign a status to this. Mm -hmm. And only the status that's being set up here, it's very specific to where we're assigning this. So one of the things I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna just go ahead and pull this down. If I set this to rejected right now, and I hit OK, one of the things you'll see here is that number one, when I hit OK, it now knows to fall into that status. That would be now associated, so it's intelligent. As you move through the process and you create this as closed and assign that, it keeps track of all this data, so it's processing this. We can report out on all this information, and it keeps us from having to go back in and manage that ourselves, delete out the information. If we issue a new revision, it knows that's closed. Do not keep it on that sheet moving forward. It can mm. keep track of that and manage that information for us. So nice. it's a very intuitive way of managing this. A couple of new things here too, just with the interface and the environment. If, if I want to take any two plans and compare them, I can come to our workspace. If there's been multiple revisions issued, it will tell me, let me look at any of these in a number of ways. Uh, here, if I'm, and this is not a good example, but anything I want to compare to this plan, I go to add file and I can search through the plans and I can take the elevations, for example. And when I pull those together, if I want to compare these, I can do a couple of things. I can compare them right over the top of one another, so we can do many, many sheets later right over the top, so it doesn't just have to be two. We can add an infinite number of sheets that we want to add to this list. If I want to come back in here, maybe for a certain reason I want to copy and paste from one sheet to the next, I can take those two and lay them side by side. And now look how I can look at the two plans 
side by side if I want to add more depending on the size of your screen here we've got our large s55 table so we've got plenty of resolution and space to work with but this will work on your iPad will work on your Windows tablets and give you control there so you can compare drawings and uh, manage that very easily so a uh, quick question so you, so you said iPad and then the Windows tablets um, and I, I take it then then that'd be communicating so if I'm on this device and I'm touching things and in real time those updates would That's be shared exactly right exactly right as I'm making notes here whether it's a, a cloud whatever I want to associate you're working on your iPad in the field. I'm working here in the job trailer on the table. You're, we're getting that instant live feedback and communicating in real time. So awesome. as I'm taking the pictures associated with that, you're getting that. We can feed that back and run through that process and communicate that efficiently. So, um, so then next question: uh, How do I get one and how much? Okay. So the software is, is very inexpensive. We're, viewers are free. The ability to just go in and view the plans, have the hyperlinks, compare the drawings, that's free. Any viewer can do that on any of those devices that we mentioned. Okay. As far as contributing content and creating markups, that's going to be $49 per user per month. But that's a floating bank of licenses, so if you buy five licenses for the company, you can manage those, float those around, and work any way that you see. It is most fitting for your company. Okay. The table itself is 13000 uh, that comes with a 36-month on-site warranty. Uh, we're finding a lot of success right now in putting these over on a job site and at the back end of the project, being able to roll this out to the owner on the back end. So nice. this is their now plan room right here in a simple digital format that you can share. Plan room with the future. There you go. That's awesome. Hey, thanks a lot, Joshua. Thank you.